Hi everyone, I'm Travis Elliott with National Control Devices, and in this article I'm going to discuss Java development on a BeagleBone controlling I2C devices. Um, might sound kind of complicated, um, but from what we've learned and put together in this article, it's going to make this really pretty simple uh, for, for you guys. Uh, what what I prefer to do is I prefer to install uh, Ubuntu 13.04 onto the BeagleBone, and then I install the uh, the embedded Java runtime environment on there as well to run my Java applications. Um, and really, as far as installation goes, that's that's about all that you've got to do. Um, so the first thing that we really need to do is we need to get Ubuntu flashed onto your BeagleBone. Uh, this is pretty simple. Um, as you can see, we're going to need the uh, we're going to need a micro SD card, uh, an SD card adapter to plug into your laptop or PC, uh, and then or a USB to micro SD card adapter. Um, either one of those will work. I'm actually using a USB to micro SD adapter. Um, but if you just get one of those little adapter cards and plug it into the SD card slot on your computer, that works too. Now, um, one heads up here, I, I do most of my development on a Mac, um, but really it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac, Windows, or Linux. Um, they all have the capability of doing everything that I'm doing. Um, basically the only thing that changes for the most part is just how you flash the image file on the SD card and how you actually uh, connect to the BeagleBone through a terminal application. Um, we'll be SSH connecting to the device. On Windows, I recommend that you use PuTTY, uh, application called PuTTY. You can Google that. It's pretty easy to download and it has the ability to uh, connect over SSH. On Mac, I just recommend the built-in terminal, which you'll see is what I'm going to be using. And then on Linux, there's a built-in terminal there too. Um, all the commands are going to be the same because it's actually commands on the Ubuntu uh, loaded on the BeagleBone. So really we're just using different applications depending on the operating system. So the first thing we really need to do is we need to download the three things that we're going to need to flash Ubuntu onto an SD card for use on the BeagleBone. First thing we're going to need is the Ubuntu 13.04 image file. This is the file we're going to flash onto the SD card and then insert into the BeagleBone and flash onto its memory. The second thing we're going to need is a utility to actually write that image to the SD card. On Windows, you can use a Win32 Disk Imager, which you'll see me doing here shortly. Um, on Mac and Linux, you can actually flash that image onto the SD card through the terminal. Um, you can Google around on that if you want. Um, I actually run a Windows Virtual Machine on this Mac and I find it just easier to use Win32 Disk Imager. Um, but like I said, if you want to um, flash the image on the Mac or on, the, uh, on a Linux machine, you could probably find a, uh, a utility or an application to do that. Or like I said, you can actually do it from the command line. Um, that's strictly up to you. I'm going to show you how to do it on a Windows machine using the Win32 disk imager in my Windows virtual machine here. Um, and then the third thing you're going to need is I recommend having the SD card formatter application um, just in case you need to uh, format your SD card before doing this. If this is an SD card you had before and you had a lot of stuff on it, you're going to need to format it before flashing 
the image file on the SD card. Um, mine happens to be new, but I'll go ahead and show you that setup as well. So first thing we need to do is get that Ubuntu image. So I recommend just Googling uh, BeagleBone Black Ubuntu 13.04. And the first link you're going to come up to is this elinux.org forward slash BeagleBoard colon Ubuntu on BeagleBone Black. So if you click on that, and this will actually bring up a full article that explains the entire process. Um, it may look a little daunting at first, but it's really pretty simple. What we're going to want to do is, what we're actually going to do, or what I recommend doing, is flashing the Ubuntu OS onto the BeagleBones onboard memory, also known as eMMC. Um, you can also run Ubuntu on the SD card but I prefer to have that SD card open so if I need some additional storage uh, for for images or something like that in the future I've got it so I'm actually running Ubuntu on the onboard memory on the BeagleBone um, so that the process I'm going to show you is going to show you how to do that if you want to boot it off an SD card you can do that as well I think they've got actually some instructions on this page showing how to do that so the first thing we need to do is we need to download this Ubuntu 13.04 eMMC flasher. So we'll click that to download. Okay, so now that we've got that image downloaded, now we need to download the disk imaging uh, application, which is Win32 Disk Imager. This is a Windows-based application that I'm going to download. Um, so once I get everything downloaded, I'll switch over to my Windows machine and we'll actually write the image to uh, the SD card. So click this and it's going to take us to SourceForge. And we'll download that. Okay, so now we've got the image, we've got the utility to write the image. The last thing we need is the utility to format the SD card. So if you just Google SD formatter, you'll see the first link that comes up is from uh, sdcard.org slash downloads. So we'll click on that link. And this will take us to the uh, download page and they've got versions of this application for Windows and Mac but since I'm going to do my flashing on the Windows uh, machine I will uh, click this link and scroll to the bottom of this page agree to the terms and it'll download the SD formatter okay so that's uh, that's everything that we really need to uh, put this image on an SD card. So at this point I'm going to switch over to my uh, virtual machine here, my Windows OS, and I'll go into downloads. And we've got the SD formatter here, so I'll just drag that to the desktop. We've got the Win32 disk imager, I'll drag that over. And we have the uh, the image file, um, which I'll go ahead and just drag that over here too. Okay, so we need to unzip these two items. Um, if you don't have a zip utility on your computer, I recommend 7-Zip. Um, so we'll. Uh, run the setup for the SD formatter here okay let me see it adds a little SD formatter icon to our desktop here the Win32 disk imager doesn't need to be installed. We just need to unzip it. 
and then we'll have this uh, this exe or this application here. So first thing we want to do is at this point you need to connect your micro SD card to your computer whether that be with a card adapter or a USB to micro SD adapter whatever you prefer. Um, just make sure that whenever you go into a uh, computer you actually see it here and you'll see that mine's named boot and basically it's wide open I've got 3.69 gigabytes free of 3.69 gigabytes uh, this is a 4 gigabyte SD card and that's what you're gonna need for this application you're gonna need at least 4 gigabytes or, or higher so uh, mine's already formatted but I'll go ahead and just show you that process basically you just open SD formatter and it should find your drive which mine is F right here um, and then what you would do is if you had stuff written to your drive you would just click on uh, I click on option and then I go to full erase OK and then format and say are you sure you want to format because it erases everything on your disk so if you had anything on there you want to keep make sure and get it off first Okay, and you'll see up here mine comes up as a file system F30 or FAT32. You're going to have to make sure that the SD card is formatted as a FAT32 uh, disk. So that's the format that you need. So we click OK, and we can go ahead and exit that. Our SD card is now ready to be flashed. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll open up that Win32 disk folder that we extracted and we will run this Win32 disk imager here and on this application we'll need to uh, you'll see the device already comes up here is the F drive which is my SD card now we need to click this button here to find the image file that we want to flash which we move to the desktop Oh, I'm sorry. Um, one thing we have to do, um, we'll have to extract this. Search for 7-zip. And I need to download the Windows 64-bit version here. Open that and run it. So I guess you needed four utilities. I forgot about seven zip. So if you didn't catch that, after we installed 7-Zip, you can right-click on that download, go to 7-Zip, uh, click Extract Files, and then just click OK here. And that will create a new folder here on your desktop. So now we're ready to flash this image. So we'll win, run the Win32 Disk Imager again. And we'll click here to open the file, and we'll go to our desktop and we'll go to this bbb-emmc-flasher-ubuntu folder and we can see the file right here we'll click on it and then we'll click open close this window and so you should have it uh, labeled right here as the image file and then we just click right 
and it'll give you a little warning here. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. This will take uh, this will take a few few seconds uh, for the image to actually write to the SD card. So we'll just wait for that to finish. All right. So you'll probably notice that uh, my install went really fast. Um, I'm time lapsing a lot of this stuff, um, but you should get a window here that says "Write Successful." We click OK, and then we can exit that. So at this point, you should have that image written to your SD card and ready to flash onto your BeagleBone. So if you go into, uh, into your computer to where you can actually view the SD card again, you'll see it's the F drive. and. Uh, should say something like BeagleBone getting started and it'll show that it has uh, you know it only has 44.5 megabytes free because we used up pretty much all the space on it with that image um, so we'll uh, go ahead and uh, close this out and at this point we are ready to eject that SD card so that is what we will do So now we've ejected the card, so we can safely remove it from the computer. So take your SD card now, and uh, I'll show you here how to insert the SD card into your BeagleBone and uh, get it to flash the image. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to insert the uh, power off your BeagleBone, insert the SD card, you're going to hold down the reset button and then you're going to, while holding that reset button, you're going to apply the 5 volt DC power to your BeagleBone. Once the uh, power LED comes on on the BeagleBone, you can release that reset button and it'll sit there for a while and you'll see the lights flashing, the blue LEDs on the light on the BeagleBone flashing. Once all those LEDs go solid, all four LEDs are on solid, that means it's done flashing. At that point, you can disconnect power from the BeagleBone, remove the SD card, uh, install your I2C cape onto the BeagleBone, uh, connect your I2C device to it, connect the Ethernet cable, and then power it up, and we'll be ready to start development. So we'll do that now.